Heavenly Father, O oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has become his counselor, or who has first given to him, and it shall be repaid to him? For of him, and through him, and to him are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. The earth is the Lord's in all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. Who has preceded me that I should pay him? Everything under heaven is mine. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. Lord, you are the creator, sustainer, and possessor of the whole world, and all men are under your authority and power whether they acknowledge it or not. We are simply tenants in a land that you are the owner of, and we can be evicted at any moment. How grateful we are that you have paid the insurmountable debt that we owe, so we can live in your land in peace, under the blessing of your great forgiveness and everlasting love. You alone are worthy of our worship, for nothing in this world is established apart from your hand. In you alone we have a firm foundation on which to stand, for this world cannot hold us, for it sits on a foundation more unstable than shifting sand. If not for your mighty hand to hold us and keep us from being consumed by the waters, for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters, for this they willfully forget, that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of water and in the water, by which the world that then existed perished, being flooded with water. Oh, that we would remember how frail and fragile we are, and have a greater desire within us to go to higher ground and rise above this temporal world to spend eternity with you. Father, who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? Who are we to think that with such a creator as you, who holds the world we live in in the palm of his hands, would condescend to hold an audience with a speck of dust like us? Oh, the heights we'd have to climb just to catch a glimpse of your majesty, and with all this earthly dirt upon us, how could we expect to enter into the presence of such a holy king? If not for your amazing grace, this desire to dwell in your courts would only be a dream. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have provided the way to fellowship with the Father in those royal courts above. He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself, just as he is pure. This is the character of the subjects of your kingdom, purity in the heart that is evidenced by the work of the hands. For without holiness no one will see the Lord. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has recompensed me. You have saved and sanctified us, and clothed us with garments of salvation, and covered us with the robe of righteousness. All that we have and all that we are, we owe entirely to you, the Son of Righteousness and Holy One of Israel. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, Selah. Lord, you have blessed us abundantly. All we want is more of you, and for your life in all your holiness and righteousness to be cultivated within. Our hearts are zealous for a life of deepening intimacy with you. Light the fire of devotion within us, and help us, Holy Spirit, to keep that flame kindled, 
by stirring us to become a fervent praying people unto you, our beloved bridegroom, come again. Then we will gaze upon the beauty of holiness and see you face to face. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Glorious Savior and mighty warrior, you triumphed over all your enemies, and the gates of heaven were thrown open wide as a choir of angels singing your praises welcomed home the victorious King of glory from battle on your great ascension day when you departed from the earth over 2,000 years ago. He was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood he entered the most holy place once for all, having obtained eternal redemption. Lift up your heads, O you gates, lift up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Selah. You opened up the kingdom of heaven to those who believe, the everlasting doors that will never be closed. May we honor our King by opening up the gates and doors of our hearts to welcome our Savior and give the entrance to our soul to its rightful owner as we gladly sing your praise. Glorious King of Kings, find in us your royal home. Bring back your glory to your holy temple. Fulfill the word of your promise that the glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former, and in this place you will give peace. This same Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. King of glory, we praise and magnify your holy name. Amen. <laughs>